Thursday, everybody. Hello, come on in. It's Thursday Night Live with Bishop Bill. Let's see, I always do this. I always get nervous to see if anyone is watching until I see the first few. There they are, okay. I see a few people. And then I start announcing names. I guess I'm getting pretty predictable in this here, but anyway, hello, Vanessa. First one to pop up. Guadalupe, all right. And then I start announcing names. See, yeah, I'm really kind of um, predictable, I guess. Tina's here and Kaylee's here. All right, all right. Um, hello there, Catherine and Liam, perhaps. I don't know. Clem, this is great. Yep, okay. I'm just getting them. This is just where I kind of just riff and wait for people to, you know, check in and everything and say hello and come on in. So. Put up with it if you don't like it. Shelly, Shelly's here, all right. So is Elizabeth, Lloyd, this is great. They're all coming in, come on in. All the sheep come to the shepherd. Don, Donegal, all right. These are some big names, this is great. Okay, um, so a friend of mine who might be watching, Rosa, hola, muy buenas noches. Mary, my sister, bonsoir. Wait, is that right? Bonsoir, Mary studied French. Anyway, um, hello. Oh, and then um, let's see, Catherine. Oh, Liam is here there as well. Okay, excellent. Anyway, so a friend of mine, Margaret, sent me, um, sent me a little video. I worked with her at Andre House, in the, in the, which is the soup kitchen in Phoenix. And she sent me a little video and it's this. She's, she's, um, she, she, she kind of imitated me she has a little fire in the background, and then she says, Hey, everybody, it's me, Bishop Bill. Why, hello, there's David, my brother, there's so-and-so. She did the whole thing. So I guess I'm pretty predictable, but that's all right. We like predictability, especially these days. Um, anyway, so I'm here in the, this is kind of a different view in my uh, our living room, whatever. It's not my house, it's our house. Um, but anyway, I'm here in the, um, facing the, do we call these hurricane shutters? I don't know what we call them, but anyway. Um, I'll, I'm going to show you the TV soon in a minute because I want to show a little bit of what, what happened last night, what I did last night in Tallahassee. Jane says, it's 19 degrees in Warsaw, Indiana. I know, it's cold up there in Indiana, and it's going to be cold down here, actually. Um, oh, Carl says, I was hoping you were by the fireplace. You needed the warmth. Well, anyway, let's just pretend. Um... It's warm in here. And there's Kathy Hodep, oh, friend of mine from Austin. Okay, sorry, Bill, focus. Anyway, the, the cold uh, weather is coming down here even, all the way to Northwest Florida. We're under a freeze warning. I don't know if it's a freeze warning or just cold weather warning, something like that. And we are going to, um, uh, I think the, the, the county schools are closed tomorrow here in Escambia County. I don't wanna like give anyone false hopes if you're not in Escambia County here in the diocese. And then, and also, so our Catholic schools in Pensacola will also be closed then tomorrow, just just in case, you know, there's ice on the roads or something like that. It's not gonna be a lot, it doesn't look like, but I think they just don't wanna take any chances, so that's happening. I'm not sure about the other counties. We'll have to ask the bishop about you who go to uh, our schools outside of Escambia. Uh, actually, I can speak for the bishop, because that's me. I'm waiting to hear from those other counties and everything, but so far it's just Escambia County. Anyway, uh, but it's going to get a little chilly. I'm going to uh, put a towel over a, a sheet over the um, my lettuce out there in the garden so it doesn't freeze tonight. Um, I'm growing a lot of lettuce and some spinach and romaine and all that stuff out there. And so I, I'm eating a lot of salad. Had a big bowl tonight. It's so good. Yummy. Okay, so that's what I want to tell you. What else? Anything else weather-wise? No, I just want to tell you mostly about last night's dedication of the altar and the, the blessing of the... Um, uh, the the new or the the renovations at the Co Cathedral, I think. Right, I did hear that it's somebody's birthday. I believe it's Ro. I'm not sure how I say your last name. Clarigo is it? Clarico. But anyway, um, to you I say Malagayang Karawan. That's happy birthday in Tag Tagalog. I think. Anyway, something like that. Well, happy birthday if today's your birthday. Anyone? Okay. Um, so yesterday. Uh, I went to Tallahassee a couple of days ago 
And um, yesterday we had the blessing of the renovations in the co-cathedral and, uh, and the dedication of the new altar. So you can't use the altar until it's dedicated, that is blessed by God through the bishop uh, and, the, and the Holy Spirit, so that it is dedicated, ready for to celebrate the sacrament sacrifice of the Mass. Um, and so uh, we have been working on, I didn't really do anything, but the co-cathedral community there, especially Father John Kayer, the rector and his team, have been uh, making plans and, and preparations and see, making sure this comes about, that the, um, the co-cathedral uh, would be renovated, would, would, uh, especially the sanctuary area, whole new sanctuary. In, in the past, I, for so long, they've just had kind of paneling behind the sanctuary, paneled, a paneled wall. And um, one day we knew we were going to put something there, uh, rarerdos or something, rarados, you know, which is a screen made of wood or stone or something like that behind the altar. But um, never knew what, when, when the time would come. Well, unfortunately, two years ago, uh, uh, someone came into the church and burned uh, the chairs in the church in the sanctuary, which burned up the wall of the, the paneling there. And so um, they figured it was time to do this. Um, and so they did, the, uh, did this great renovation. And you can see it all if you go to the, uh, uh, the Co-Cathedral web page or Facebook page or Twitter or Instagram. I don't know any of those addresses, but if you just look up Co-Cathedral St. Thomas More in Tallahassee, you'll find it. And you can see a... Uh, you can see a tour of the sanctuary, a video tour, and also um, a, uh, a replay of the Mass, the liturgy last night, at which we dedicated the altar and blessed the co-cathedral. Anyway, it was a grand liturgy, a fantastic liturgy. If you've never seen that, the blessing of a dedication of an altar and the blessing of uh, improvements or renovations, um, it is amazing. It's filled, especially the, the rite of dedication of the altar, filled with great symbolism and a lot of action, a lot of um, sprinkling and dashing of holy water on the altar. There's the, the great prayer of the Holy Spirit, which is the actual prayer of dedication. And then, and this is what I want to show you, a rerun of last night's um, anointing of the altar. It says that in the, in the rubrics, it is desirable that the bishop should pour chrism in the center and on the four corners of the altar, and that he should take his time and anoint the entire altar. So it took about eight minutes or something, and I just, I did take my time, as you'll see, and it's, it smells good, and, and it was, uh, it was all over me and my clothes, unfortunately, but um, it was great. And then after that, we put incense on the altar, not just a little, but a lot, a huge cloud of incense went all the way up to the top of the co-cathedral, and then back down over the people. It was awesome. And then um, somebody a couple of lady, women uh, wiped the altar clean with towels, and then they put a white cloth on there, candles, brought flowers out for in front of the altar, and it was all prepared for the liturgy of the Eucharist. So it was just, it was really great. There were a lot of people. The co-cathedral was full of students and parishioners and committee members who made this, who, who helped this to come about, as well as the designers and the builders, some from France, came, uh, we had a company called Granda, and they had about uh, six people who came over from France, I'm sorry, from, did I say France? <laughs> Spain. Um, uh, they're a Spanish company and they came out and, uh, and were part of the, the celebrations as well. They did a fantastic job on the renovations. Anyway, so it was a great thing. Everyone sang, everyone was joyful, and I wanna show you. So this is, I mean, you can look up the whole thing, but I just thought I would walk you through this, this most, memorable part, and that is the anointing of the altar. So obviously there I am praying the, um, praying For Jesus the, Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And so that was, that's the end of the long consecratory prayer that we, that, that, that I prayed over the altar, that it would be a fitting and worthy place for the, the sacrifice of the mass. And then, um, the deacons were very helpful, uh, Deacon Santiago and Deacon Andy there in the server, but in helping to put on an apron and get everything ready. Okay, I won't walk you through all that. Okay, keep going, keep going. I don't know how to fast forward this, but um, shoot, I should have been talking through this. 
anyway, um, one problem, well, there's two things you'll notice. One, I smile a lot, and uh, I know my mom tells me that. Mom says, Bill, you're always smiling. Well, how can you not smile at such an awesome liturgy such as this? I didn't smile the whole time. Look, I'm pretty serious there. Yep. But when I start to anoint and do other things, that's when I, um, I smile a lot. But then again, you know, I just remembered or was just reminded today that Pope John Paul I, who is causes up for beatification, he was known as the smiling Pope. So, and he did pretty well. So maybe I'm the smiling bishop. Oh, there I go. See, I can't help it. I've got to be more serious. Um, the other thing is, I thought I turned off my microphone, um, but I didn't at one point, and it's really clear in here that as I'm washing my hands and directing the servers, I need to be quiet more. But anyway, okay, here we go. Just in case you. May the Lord, by His power, sanctify this altar and this house. There's a house, lot of chrism. Which, by our ministry, we anoint, so that as visible signs they may express the mystery of Christ and the church. I brought over an extra bottle of chrism from the cathedral here in Pensacola to make sure we had plenty. So there I am. It's a big altar. It, it, I had to walk around it and work around it. You can't just reach from one end to the other. Here at this point, I'm thinking, well, I'm just gonna use all of it. So I poured out the whole thing there. Um, stop smiling, Bill. No, I don't mind, it's good. Anyway, okay, um, and so people said, what, what are you thinking during that time? You know, what is that, what is that like for you? And for me, I'm mentally just, I mean, I'm giving thanks to God for the beauty of my vocation and our church and, um, and the Eucharist. And I'm also praying for all of us, all the masses that will be celebrated on that altar for decades and decades to come just thinking about how God is, um, God comes to us and wants to share his life with us, you know, in the Eucharist. And um, as I said, I took my, uh, took my time with it, it goes on for eight minutes, but people in the congregation said that, oh, and meanwhile, the um, rector of the cathedral, Father James over there, is anointing the walls meanwhile and also father john the rector of the co-cathedral excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me there's father john he is anointing the walls while i anoint the um, the altar anyway as people were watching they said they said they got the sense of me as the spiritual father for the diocese just kind of up there working like a like Joseph would work on, you know, St. Joseph on wood, you know, woodworking or something. I was taking my time kind of working on the altar, really working in our prayers and everything. And um, that's kind of how it felt for me as well, just taking my time praying for all of you and for our diocese there. So that's what I won't show you the whole thing, and nor will I even skip around, but you can find the whole thing on the the webpage or Twitter for the co-cathedral. Uh, takes about eight minutes. Uh, okay, all right, Bill. Is there anything else I wanna show you? I don't think so. Maybe if I could quickly show you, I mean, sorry, I don't mean to waste your time, but, but I'm not wasting your time. If you don't wanna watch, you can, you can go elsewhere. Okay, Bill. Oh, there I am washing my hands. I just wanna show you the incense. Come on. Okay, there was a lot of incense. Um, yeah, yes, I wish you could see it. It filled that huge place, so, okay. I think that's all I wanna show, show you. I'll have this going in the background as I sign off. Anyway, okay, great. So thank you for your prayers and thanks for joining me. And um, if you can, if you're anywhere near uh, Tallahassee, please come and join us sometime in the Co-Cathedral of St. Thomas More. It is really, really a beautiful place. It already was. It's a great community, but now it's even more special because you can barely, you can kind of see that uh, uh, Reredos behind the, the altar. Wish they'd show the whole thing, but maybe they'll pull back. Uh, yeah, look at that, just like I'm directing this. Oh, well, anyway, um, come and join us anytime you can. Okay, so next week, I hope to be with you. 
Um, but I'm not sure if I will be able to do this next week. Just watch the, um, well, if, if you join, if you come at this time and I'm not on, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be in Mexico. I'm going to be in Monterey, Mexico um, a week from tonight, a week from today. And I know there's a liturgy where um, I'm going to install someone in the Ministry of Lecter there um, Thursday night evening, but I'm not sure what time and with the time change, I don't know when it'll be. Um, I'm really going there to uh, um, uh, ordain two young men, two deacons, uh, next Saturday. But while I'm there, I'm also going to confirm maybe 100 or 200 kids and do a bunch of stuff there. So it'll be really neat. So I, I'm going to try, if, as long as the liturgy is over by 7.30, which I don't know if it will be, then I'll go find a, a Wi-Fi spot and, and uh, do this. If not, bear with me. I'll do it later or maybe Friday or something like that. But just watch... Uh, Facebook. Okay, great. I'll say a prayer as we sign off here. Thank you for joining me tonight. I thought this was this would be kind of interesting to show you just a little bit of the dedication of the altar and the blessing of the co-cathedral. Wait a minute. They're going to show the Raritas, I think. Come on, pull back. Show the whole thing. Blah. Oh, well. All right, let me say a prayer for you. Heavenly God, watch over all your children. We thank you and bless you for giving us beautiful things like our churches, like art, and ritual and liturgy. We thank you and bless you and praise you. You have given us the means to know you, to love you, to serve you, and to be in communion with you. Bless all of your children, all of us who are participating tonight and those who will watch this later and through us. Bless our family members, our friends, and all who are in need. Help us to know your will and give us the strength to carry, to carry it out every day. Bless your children, I pray, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, everyone. God bless you. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you hopefully next week. <laughs>